Welcome to another episode of Disney Dust. It's Disney Dwayne, and we're going to be talking about, yes, this uh, background is really, really trippy, Doctor Strange, and there's the Scarlet Witch, or Wanda, um, in what we can call uh, probably Doctor Strange 2, the movie from the MCU, uh, and also probably the follow-up to what happens in WandaVision, the series. Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness. Um, and of course, we're going to get into spoilers because a lot of reviews um, at the moment don't have spoilers. So I'm going to dive right into that. First of all, um, I was expecting a pretty bad movie because a lot of reviews didn't really, really like it. But I liked it more than I thought I would. Uh, however, the whole theme of the multiverse is a little bit old now for me, at least. Um, and there are two reasons I don't like it. Number one, because it is confusing. Um, and number two, more importantly, um, uh, while we get to see different iterations, you know, of character of the same characters that we love, you know, uh, we see uh, Doctor Strange as an undead this time around, which is very, very cool. But at the same time, you know, um, we don't really care so much if the characters die, which they they do a lot. They kill them off um, quite, um, you know, uh, mercilessly. And, you know, these are all different universe and and different worlds and and you know they sh they still should be valued that's my opinion at least um wanda is trying to find america uh this other character because she has the power to travel different multiverses and so uh, in order to be with her children wanda wanda needs her powers um um so there's this hunt for her the whole the whole movie in general and Doctor Strange is protecting her. So the character America Chavez is uh, apparently the only America that exists in the entire multiverse. I'm still not really sure why that part is interesting. Uh, you know, I think she's going to be an interesting character to explore if she continues to be in the MCU. Also, um, you know, with her her history uh, in terms of how her parents um, lesbian couple, uh, and you can see that she's very proud of it. She wears the rainbow, uh, little. there's a little pin that she has on her jacket. Uh, apparently she herself is lesbian. Um, and we wanna know where her parents ended up and what happened to them. I feel like there there, there should be a reunion uh, that, that will come up if they continue to explore this uh, character arc. In terms of what's happening with Wanda, we pick up after WandaVision where she has uh, attained the Dark Hole, which is the Book of the Damned. Uh, that was previously owned by Agatha, and now uh, the prophecy says that she is the Scarlet Witch and she will destroy the world. And she's also now trying to acquire the book of Vishanti, which is another book. So I think there are all these books in sort of the witch witch realm, which uh, which have different powers. Uh, all very exciting. In a funny scene, two Doctor Strange meet, and uh, they want to ascertain if they're really Doctor Strange. So they ask a question about their sister and how, you know, um, the sister was lost. And it's funny to me because it's like, I thought they were in different realms. Shouldn't the sisters, you know, some would have survived and some wouldn't, right? But anyway, there is an accident that they don't talk about Dawn, no, no, no. Almost, I almost hear them singing it. Uh, so there's some cheesy parts. Uh, I also found the third eye appearing a little bit cheesy. I think it's because of the, probably the CGI. It's not done so well. And then there's a music battle out of nowhere, which is pretty cool, but also a little bit cheesy. So I think uh, that had some of the audience laughing a little bit. But all in all, I think it's novel, you know, and you always want to try to be different. And, you know, there are only so few original ideas you can come up with. So kudos to um, uh, the producers, I mean, the directors and the creative team. Also, I think uh, it's uh, Doctor Strange was actually a really good movie. I really liked it. Well, the character, yeah, I'm going to love him. But I really like Wanda. So the two of them coming together uh, really was nice. Uh, we're going to see a lot more of uh, two, two different universes collapsing on each other, more of that because we see some of that happening already in this movie. Also, we see an appearance of Charlize Theron, who plays Clea, I think her name is, and uh, we're going to see more of what happens with Clea. She is in the comics, um, uh, very, very, very related to Doctor Strange, and in fact, um, if Benedict Cumberbatch does not renew his contract, she might be even set to take over as the new, uh, you know, master of the mystic arts. We shall see. We shall see. Of course, uh, if you're watching the movie, uh, you've watched till the end. I hope uh, the mid credits end scene is just great because she appears. Uh, but the end credit scene is something that is 
such a joke. I thought it was something that was really important. Even the spoilers don't reveal what it is. And so I, I probably won't, but it's, it's a bit of a funny end credit scene. It's really not important, but I won't spoil that one for you. What do you think about um, Doctor Strange 2? Uh, let me know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying these reviews and uh, leave your comments in the comment section because I want to know what you thought about it as well. Till the next one, this is Disney Dwayne. Take care.